So it's going to start off right here in Lake Michigan. So it's a 100,000 gallon tank. And it's home to quite a few different species of fish, ranging from sturgeon to bass to even the invasive Asian carp. From there, it's going to move on through the brackish waters of the St. Lawrence Seaway to the North Atlantic. Some of our larger fish that you're going to find when you get on your way down to the Caribbean. We do have a couple of sharks. So we have one bamboo shark who's poking out on the bottom there. We also have our Spanish hogfish. We have three different touch tanks here at Discovery World. Our saltwater touch tank here, which is going to have our Cortez Round Stingrays. And over here is our freshwater touch tank. So we have three sturgeon in here. Hey, guys. So I'm an aquarist here. I take care of some of the tanks. There's actually six of us total. We all have about 10 to 12 tanks that we take care of. Uh, we're going to feed them every day, make sure everything's healthy, that the fish are happy. We're going to check water quality, we're gonna make sure the pH is good, there's no ammonia in the tank. We're also going to be diving some of our tanks to scrub the walls. We uh, suit up in dive gear, we get our regulators, we have an air compressor, we'll jump in. There's usually about four of us scrubbing all the rock work and the decor to get everything clean. I have actually wanted to be a scientist and especially marine biology since I could say marine biology correctly. I got my Bachelor of Science degree, moved on to do internships long term. Hopefully I'd like to go into marine animal rehabilitation. I'm uh, getting involved in the March for Science because I believe that our animals need our help as well as just being incredible animals. They don't have a voice in policy and we need to be able to speak for them. People can easily neglect what they don't understand. So by having aquariums, people are able to interact and see these species and learn more about them. And maybe that'll encourage them to care about it a little bit more. These are freshwater species of puffer and they are not gonna get much bigger than this. We also have our uh, axolotls, which are these little guys here. I love these guys, I think they're adorable. Some people think they're girls, but I think they're really cute. We have our African lungfish here. His name is Leopold. He skipped arm day. But you're also still getting to see it, and in many cases, it's more affordable to go to your local aquarium than to go dive the Great Barrier Reef. And quite often as well, these aquariums are going to act as rehab centers to help keep those populations up. One of the things that we do is we do propagate coral. In our back of house, we do have several different varieties of coral as well as anemones that we will grow and kind of help repopulate the coral species. It is important that we rebuild our reefs to increase that species diversity and to rebuild those natural barriers. And I think it's great too that Milwaukee is doing a march as well as all the satellite marches that are going on throughout the country and the world. People are able to participate somewhere that's closer to them so they're not having to do as much travel. Absolutely, I am going to the march. I've already got at least half a dozen people I'm bringing with me. So. I will be there, well, at, you know, 2 o'clock when it starts. So right at Red Arrow Park here in Milwaukee.